Hi guys. I thought you might be interested to see this. This is a Zygu X5105, if you can see it there. And this is connected by this cable into a Zygu C19. And this is splitting out the audio connections, which go all the way around into this uh, Samsung tablet, Android tablet. Now, at the moment, we're just using this for the audio connections. We're not using it for cat control. And if we just come out of here, first thing to, uh, to tell you, the um, Samsung tablet has got uh, a built-in GPS, and we're using this to calculate our QRA locator. Okay, so there we go. So we've got a valid QRA locator, which we need to remember. And we're going to come out of there. We're going to Droid PSK. Now, Droid PSK and indeed Droid RTTY um, used to uh, automatically calculate the QRA locator from the GPS and allow you to use it. The uh, later versions of those particular applications don't do that anymore. But what we can do, having already established our locator, is just type it in here. Okay. Now, Droid PSK is for PSK31 and uh, PSK63. So you can see here, hopefully. Now, I'm monitoring the same frequency, in this case, 14070, with another radio. So if I send out a CQ call, it's worth mentioning actually that the X5105, Psycho X5105, is currently just connected to a dummy load on relatively low power, so no one else is going to hear us. If we have a look at the macro, you can see here it's telling it to start, which is going to start the, uh, the transmission. Uh, it's then sending out three CQ calls using my call sign and my locator, and then it's going to stop. Okay, and if we send that, send a reply from the other radio but uh, on the dummy load I'll just turn the power down a bit and we'll send a CQ call the other way and there you go we can see that being received and decoded right great so PSK 31 really is as simple as that you can create up to well, we've got eight, nine, ten, eleven macros here that you can use. So we've had a look at a CQ call macro already, and this list is all the fields that you can use. We'll come out of there and go into Droid RTTY. Let's set the uh, receiving radio up to use RTTY. Okay, and we'll send another CQ call.
Okay, let's just point the camera around. So there you go, that's been received fine off the uh, IC7300. Okay, and we'll send a reply to that. Again, still on the uh, dummy load. There we go, so that's working fine. Both Droid PSK and Droid RTTY will allow you to, uh, to log and they'll store those entries and you can email them off or do whatever you want to. Let's show you this one, so WSPR Beacon. So again, if I press GPS for the locator, it will calculate that from the GPS. And then we can click and hold tune. Just to make sure everything's okay. Leave that time out. Okay, now we're into the dummy load, of course, so no one's going to hear us. But um, basically all we've got to do is set the frequency of the radio to 140956 if we want 20 meters. We've got a drop down here, so if we selected 40 meters, you can see it would be 7.0836 or whatever else, um, but we'll run with 20 for now. So we've already clicked start. Let's set the framing down to two minutes. Okay, and then we can hear the carrier going out. You can see that the, uh, the radio it's gone into TX mode. Now it's worth mentioning actually that the radio is configured to use the Vox. There is no PTT line configured. You could configure the PTT line and hook it up via the CE19, but to be honest, the, uh, the Vox in the radio does a pretty good job, so no need. Okay, and we're done. And there's a whisper beacon gone out you would expect other stations to have received that beacon and then they would report them back via one of the uh, one or more of the whisper servers and they would then appear as plots on the map in this case given that we're on a dummy load i don't expect any plots on the map but uh, you get the idea and similarly, if we looked at the, uh, the list of reports, we'd expect to see some. Okay, so we're pretty much done with that. We can stop that and come back out. Yep. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Apart from the uh, the logging software, there's some other stuff on there as well, but. Um, that's pretty much the gist of it. The point of showing you this is that um, if you want to work digital modes out in the field, you don't necessarily need to take a bag load of stuff with you. You could literally just take the X5105 with an Android tablet of some description, and it doesn't really matter what it is, because basically all we're doing is using the audio in-out, so headphone out, and uh, line in or audio in connections and not much else and that's pretty much all you need so if you want something compact you could literally sling the radio and the tablet and a simple antenna system something like an infant halfway or a loop into a bag and you're up and running so anyway um hopefully that was uh, that was of some use and uh i will catch you on the next one cheers man